Raise your hand if you've ever done something you know you shouldn't have done. I mean in code. I know that I have. Now, one thing that I always end up doing is some pretty heavy computational things while the user sits there waiting. And I know I shouldn't do it, but I do. And I've built things in the proper way where I put stuff on a queue and do some processing in the background, but there's always multiple things and sooner or later I'm juggling all sorts of events and often that challenge means I just give up and do the work in my request response loop. But my bad behavior is about to change. I'm so excited for the latest primitive that just landed in the Cloudflare stack, workflows. Workflows allow for durable execution that can run in the background indefinitely. They're step-based and have built-in retries and even the ability to sleep for a time period that you define. Think scheduling. They change the game. Suddenly, you now have guaranteed observable flow for all of your work. They make your work flow. <laughs> Sorry, I just love an opportunity to play with words. And in fact, I'm building in public. I am building a new app called Ponderful. So the homepage here houses the latest puns and I've stored them in our database, D1. Some of them have a punchline, which is what this boxing glove is about. And some of them stand on their own, a D1 liner, if you will. But I found quickly that I wanted the ability to do a semantic search. And the best way to do that these days is with a vector database. So I knew I had to make use of another primitive, vectorize. Look at how fast this search is. If I just type dog, boom, I typed in bird, Boom, uh, I bought a parrot yesterday. The reason speaks for itself, <laughs> which is fun. And I really wanted people to be able to contribute their own jokes, or I guess pun tribute. <laughs> so there's a form, I can make one here. So let's see, I'll do my favorite one here. Uh, did you know that mansplainers, just pun in itself, don't get water uh, from a faucet? Did you know that? Yeah, uh, they get it from a well, actually. Uh, so there, it's working. We can see that my preview is working. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to uh, submit that pun. But here's the thing, in order to get this into Vectorize, I have some work to do, right? At a minimum, I need to index it, which means creating some embeddings. And we both know that I shouldn't be making the user wait while I do that in the handler after they submit the form. So check this out. Here's the handler. I get it, I get it from the JSON, I insert it, and then I create this new workflow object here, this one that's called publish. I give it an ID and I pass in the pun ID, which got created after I inserted the pun, and I pass in the pun. Uh, so let's take a look at what that looks like in our bindings. So I have this publish, right? This, this publish binding. So in my wrangler.toml, if I look down here under workflows, you'll see that I have a binding called publish, and, and you'll see that it's called publish workflow, which I have defined in my class up here in my, in my worker, publish workflow, and it extends workflow entry point. And that has a method on it called run. And that run method gives you an event, and it also gives you a step. That event has a payload, and you'll see it's what I passed in, the parameters. We have pun and pun ID. The object has access to the environment, the Cloudflare environment, which means I can access all of the declared bindings, which is rad because I can get to the entire Cloudflare stack. So that step has a method called do. And here I am doing a thing which I called content moderation. And in this case, I'm making a call out to OpenAI's free moderation service. Since I have more time available to me, I'm gonna be more safe. I mean, why not? I don't want anyone just coming in here and posting something inappropriate. And it's free. This step.do method packs a punch. By default, it will retry on error and do a timed back off. It's guaranteed to run and it will return a value that you can use in future steps. Now, if you don't like these defaults, there are, as you might expect, ways to configure it. You can make it do more retries or even do an exponential back off. Check the notes for more. Speaking of which, the repo where I'm building this code is also available in the notes. Now, here's the thing to think about. If moderation goes bad, there's no need to continue. So I just throw an error and I'll use the non-retriable error here. 
uh, so that it doesn't try again. A thrown error will cause the workflow to error out and not continue. Because next up, I want to create some embeddings. And there's no need to do that if I've gotten flagged as being inappropriate for some reason. So I'm using a worker's AI model here to create embeddings, right? So I'm going to get this embedding back from this step. And then I thought, you know what? I probably should categorize this. I don't want to add that burden to my users. So I might as well have AI generate it. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and I may have a little uh, system prompt here that generates prompt uh, uh, puns based on it. I don't I tell it kind of what I want it to say. And then just in case I want to keep tweaking that, I'm going to run this through the AI gateway. Now I'm doing this all inside of a step and I'm going to get back those categories. And if anything wrong happens in here, it's going to retry. So I am always going to get that. I am guaranteed. And then I'm going to insert those into Vectorize, which is our vector database, which is powering our search, which we saw. And it also powers the similar puns section, which why don't we take a look at real quick? So the homepage shows all the recently published puns, which means since my pun is here, that my workflow has completed because it's been published. That's the final step. So if I head to its detail page, you will see, boom, there's similar puns down here. Um, and they're similar in style too, right? Which is powerful really powerful because that's what vector databases are good at. So we have really great functionality out of the box. Now, you can imagine that we could do a similar flow for an AI RAG application, right? Any update to any document, you just go and run the workflow, rechunk, index, whatever you were doing, it just works. So back to the flow. The final step here is step.do to update the status and we're done. That's it, it updates the status of it to published. There's also a step.sleep command, which you can use to schedule tasks to pause anytime in the future. It's super powerful. Check the notes for that. So with this new primitive available to you, what are you going to build? I'm sure that that triggered all sorts of cool ideas. Let me know what you're thinking. Now you're probably wondering a couple things, right? Will it scale? I mean, we're Cloudflare, of course it's going to scale. And you might also be wondering, how do you monitor the workflow's progress? But you know what? Both of those are such great questions, they deserve their own video. So why don't you check out the next one? Thanks for your understanding. See you real soon.